there, I'm Ken, this is CRT, welcome to this episode about my Apple computers. Um, those of you that follow the channel know that I currently have two Apple computers, an Apple IIc and an Apple II GS. And I've also got a floppy emu for playing games on those computers. This is a great device, unfortunately I've only got one. So every time I want to play games on one of the other si on one of the systems, I have to uh, hook the floppy emu up to it, which is not a hard thing. It just plugs into the disk drive uh, um, port. But uh, on the Apple IIc, you actually have to because it's got an internal disk drive. You have to hook the emu up internally for the programs to boot off of the emu. So I've had this idea popping around in my head that I wanted to uh, transfer some of the files off of the EMU onto real disks so that I could play them on um, one of the computers whenever I wanted. And then, but that was it. That was just an idea that I was having. But then the other day I was watching YouTube and a channel that I follow, 8 Bits in the Basement, an excellent channel. I highly recommend checking him out. I'll put a link to his channel down in the description. Um, he did a video about a Commodore disk drive that he hooked up to a modern um, computer and he loaded programs from the modern computer onto disks and loaded the programs from disks onto the modern computer. So I got thinking, you know what, I have a whole bunch of games on disks that are just small games, so the disks have a number of games on them. And they're not readily available games, but I do like playing them. So I thought, uh, well, you know what? I should try and get the games off of those discs onto the EMU when I uh, load the games off of the EMU onto disc. So today I'm gonna try doing both of those. So let's get started. And this is the setup I am going to be using. It is my Apple IIc computer and my aftermarket laser Apple disk drive and my floppy EMU. Now I'm using the Apple IIc because it has two connectors for disk drives and neither of these devices have the ability to daisy chain. So I hook the floppy emu up to what this would be drive the first drive so drive 0 or drive 1 whichever you want to call it and I hook my laser disk drive up to the back and that becomes drive the second drive. So there we go. It is now ready to attempt to uh, load games back and forth between the modern device and the five and a quarter inch disk drive. So I have everything hooked up here. Um, got blank disks there. I've got the floppy emu hooked up. Everything's ready to go. So we just have to turn that on. Get a blank disk into the drive. And we are ready to try and uh, copy a program onto the uh, blank disk here I am using copy 2 plus 9.1 so we are ready to start uh, copying the disk but first we have to choose in the floppy emu which is the uh, first drive the game that we want to copy so I have to go up to games down to Taipan. This is a game that I have been playing since junior high and I absolutely love it. So we are in copy, so there. We're gonna copy a disk. Drive one, which is the floppy emu. Drive two, which is my aftermarket drive here. Insert the disks and hit return. Here we go. And 
it is copying. And it is finished. Now it is time to test to see that this disk copied properly. I have uh, disconnected the floppy emu, reconnected my internal drive. So it is now the boot drive again. So I can put the disk in there. Turn it on. And let's see what happens. There we go. It is running Taipan. I have successfully added that onto a disk so I can play it whenever I want without having to use my floppy emu. That is a success. Now it is time to try and copy one of my disks over to the floppy emulator. Now, uh, <laughs> It's interesting, this is a, a homemade double-sided disc with the one side, the notch cut out with what looks like a hole punch, just like I used to do back in junior high and high school. Anyways, this disc contains the game called Autobahn, which was always one of my favorite car racing games as a kid. So one of the first things I have to do is make sure I have the right disc in there. So that would be to view files. We want to view text files and we want drive two. It's looking and there we go autobahn is on this disk so i want to transfer copy this disk image over to the floppy emulator now that we have the right disk in there what we have to do is i copied over some blank disks here we'll put this in blank disk 2. so it is loaded in and now we will go to copy disk. This time the source drive will be drive 2 and the target drive will be drive 1. So here we go. It's recording and it's writing. Looks Right error track. Well, it's not working. Does not look like that worked, but let's try loading the disk and see what happens. Nope, that did not work. One thing that I have discovered after messing around for uh, quite some time here is that for some reason, it does not like copying to .dsk files on here. So, what you have to do, I've copied over here some WOZ, some WAS file disks. So, we're going to copy over to blank number four. So we go to copy disk from drive two to drive one. Now, let's see what happens. And it is writing and it is not giving any errors. So I can copy my disks over, it has to be to dot was disk files though not dot disk file not dot dsk files and i did download the uh, dot was disks off of uh, the big mess of wires website so
Now we just have to see if it is going to work or not. So it's done copying. The disk is in there. Let's load it up and see what happens. All right, it is showing that it copied that disk over. Let us try and load Autobahn. And it is reading the disk. There we go. I played this game so much as a kid. I absolutely loved it. Kind of reminds me of the game Nightmare Highway on the uh, Coco computer. <laughs> Yeah, it's very hard to play it from this angle, but there we go. It is working. So I have successfully copied one of my disks over to the Floppy emulator. Now I just have to rename that disk and put it into the games file. I am very happy. There you go. I can now take modern media, put it onto the old media use the old media to put onto the modern media. I am so excited about this, um, especially about being able to take the old discs and put them on the modern media because a lot of the games and stuff that uh, are on the discs that I have are not games that are readily available. They're just little um, games. They're uh, smaller. Um, some of them are homebrew games made back in the 80s. Uh, some of the discs that I have are somebody's high school projects for little, you know, word games and things like that. So um, they're unique and only exist on these discs. So being able to put them on modern media before these discs degrade too much to be able to use is uh, the one thing I'm really excited about. So that, yeah. That also just makes my computers more usable for me now, which I'm very excited about. And I hope you enjoyed watching me uh, mess around with this. If you did, you know what you can do with the liking, subscribing, and or commenting below because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. But um, right now, I think Taipan is calling my name for a good round of 1800s trading and uh, sea warfare. So I will see you next time.